Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be um, doing a logo for a client. We're going to be using this image here as inspiration for her blue theme logo. So we're going to resize it just to show you. And we're going to click right here in the corner. We're going to double click it until all the grid lines disappear. So you can see it a little better or what we're going to be kind of using as inspiration to create our own, our own for this client. So we're going to go to Google and we're going to open it and we're going to search blue glitter paint strokes and go down and just scroll through them and see all the the different designs never use the ones that has the prices on it always use other ones you can also google things like blue glitter paint stroke pngs so this is the one we use for this image but since i already downloaded all of my images i'm just showing you what i did to search for all of the images so that was for the blue one now we're going to go on to blue lips because it is a lip gloss company um i wanted to get some lips but i didn't want regular lips so i, I wanted something with rhinestones and flashy so honestly <laughs> it was a hard to decide but the first one really caught my eyes but i want you just to see all the other options that you have remember you can clean up all these images whenever you're making your logos and you can make them your own but for this video purpose i went with this one i really really loved it it had rhinestones it had the blue but it wasn't too much next i circle sparkle png remember png if you search for png images they will be very much more easier for you to clean up than regular images so look at all the different sparkle designs that they have any ones that attract your attention you just save it and you go to your cricut and upload them so we're going to go to our uploaded images and we're going to start by inserting all the images that we're going to use for this particular project and we're going to insert them into our design space canvas sometimes it can take a while <laughs> no rush crafting is fun so we're going to resize all of our images and get them out the way so we can have everything that we're going to need to work with so we're going to resize all of them and move them over to your right I still need another image I need a crown or a tiara you can search crown or you can search tiara on um, design space images in this particular case I search crown and I'm literally just going to scroll through until I see one that drives draws my attention so <laughs> sorry I can't talk today so we just looking hope you all are enjoying this video please give us a give it a thumbs up like comment and subscribe <laughs> so I'm going to keep looking and looking oh I like this one because it looks more realistic and that's what I want this logo to be more realistic and less cartoony but you see it came out really 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 huge some images when you put them in design space come out huge I zoomed out so you can see so in that case it's okay just resize it I'm just gonna type in some numbers resize it make it a little smaller and I'm just gonna move it out my way like I do all the other I'm gonna zoom back in so you guys can see so we have all of our images now let's work on the text so for this particular text i wanted to use two different fonts i really don't have a font in mind that i want to use but i know i want to use two different ones so i want something cursive or script so you can write 
little things inside your little search box for your fonts. You can write things like script. You can write things like cursive. You can write things like bold. And it'll give you what they have in, in the design space software of that particular text. Remember, if you guys want to learn how to download more text, just leave a comment and I'll teach you. So you can see that the spaces are really like stretched out between the letters. So you're going to go to line space here and you're going to click the down arrow and you're going to click it until it's to your desired look. Okay. And you see how I got this font here? But I'm not really quite just feeling it. <laughs> so in that case, I keep my word sedation down to the to the bottom and I just change the fonts and I just keep playing with the different fonts by using this sedation that I typed out as a guide to see the different font styles that we have. So I'm just going to keep playing around it, with it until I find something a little more to my liking. I want it to be script, but mm, not too scrippy. So let's find something not too scrippy, if that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Yeah, so just play around with your fonts. It's it's really cool because you get to see what all they have. And they have a whole lot. A whole, whole lot. <laughs> and again, you can always download more. Because sometimes when you're crafting some fonts, they get old. So I'm just going to keep playing around with them. Until I find one that I kind of like. Or like in this case because I always want to deliver the best <laughs> so I'm gonna change the color I know for sure she wants something blue so let's keep it blue okay so we have that one let's do another text um, her name is Sedation Gloss Ink. So I need something for gloss ink, but I want it to be bold. I want it to stand out, but not too bold. That will not work. So I'm just going to type gloss ink. Mm, let's space out that. INC yeah and let's change the color to it click print and I'm gonna do something gold because it'll match the, the crown okay now the fun part once we got all our images there let's start working on our logo I think this is going to turn out really pretty. So we're going to start with our first image, stretch it out. A second image, always remember to arrange to front. Click arrange, then click send to front. Let's make this smaller so we can see. Keep using that as our inspiration. <laughs> Again, this is something that she wanted, but not necessarily so. So now you'll see me with the crown. I'm going to unlock it and resize it. And I'm literally, you guys, just going to play with it until it's like how I want it. Like, I don't want it so much on the lip because I want to show the lips. So I'm trying to get it just right because you see it has this curve here um, but I want to show as much as the lips as possible like so uh oh messed it up okay there we go And remember, nothing has to be too, too perfect, but you want it to look damn near perfect. <laughs> Excuse my language. 
Okay, now I have this sedation and the sparkle. I'm, gonna move, I'm just going to go ahead and arrange all these to the front. It'll be less work I have to do when I'm doing the final look. Sedation is way too big. Even though you can resize it, let's still make this paint stroke a little bit longer. Yeah. Just moving all the other images out the way. And let's resize this and make it a little smaller like so kind of center it now let's work with the little pretty sparkles the sparkles are just an uh, accent you know it's not needed but I think it is just something cute to go on the lips. A little bit of dash. Splash. <laughs> okay. So now I think I like it. I think that, yeah, I think that we did a pretty good job. Let's flatten the whole look out. Again, you just take your cursor start from one side and make sure that you holding your mouse down your left mouse down and you just scrolling along so that it can get through all the images and then press flatten so yeah this is what she wanted and this is what she got i think we did pretty good you guys remember like comment and subscribe